The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. See, if the word planted in you can save you, then the moral evil that is in you can destroy you. So get the evil out and get it out quickly. Get rid of it quickly. Mark chapter 4. From verse 30 to 32, Mark chapter 4, from verse 30 through to 32. Again he said, what shall we say the kingdom of God is like? Or what parable shall we use to describe it? It is like a mustard seed which is the smallest of all seeds on earth yet when planted it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants with such big branches that the bears can perch in its shade we have defined bitterness as seed of resentment in the heart seed of anger seed of ill feeling displeasure in the heart of man and like the master seed or any other seed when given the right conditions bitterness will grow you see it will grow to have huge consequence on people the society sometimes even the nation so we questioned last week to be careful to give any kind of concentration on an ill feeling now try not to be concentrating on ill feeling be giving so much attention to that because the seed of bitterness when it festers it can cause trouble for you and trouble for many others. So let me remind you of Hebrews 12:15 again. See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God. Now, to fall short of the grace of God is something else because the grace of God is boundless. It is so promiscuous. It accepts everyone, never rejects anyone. But, you see, because of bitterness, someone can fall of the grace of God. And that no bitter root grows up to cause trouble and defile many. And this root, we say, does not grow on the skin. It is a malady of the heart. So, 
So we need to be careful. And one of the ways that bitterness come to us is what we hear. So last week we cautioned that we ought to be careful what we hear. The measure you give will be measured back to you. So be careful what you hear. Mark 4, 21. He said to them, Do you bring in a lamb to put it under a bowl or a bed? Instead, don't you put it on its stand? Now, say, say, but whatever is hidden is meant to be disclosed, and whatever is concealed is meant to be brought out into the open. If anyone has ears to hear, let them hear. So be wasua oditia ontie. Verse twenty-four, the big one. Consider carefully what you hear. He continued, with the measure you use. It will be measured to you and even more. Whoever has will be given more. Whoever does not have, even what they have, will be taken away from them. So be careful what you hear. Because with the measure and concentration you use, it will be measured back to you and even more. So the attention you give to what you hear, plus or minus, So the attention you give to what you hear, plus or minus, negative or positive, will be measured back to you, we said. The concentration you give to what you hear has the potential to take away from you or to add to you. Some brothers pay attention to you. See, the issue here is giving undue attention or concentration on nursing the pain stemming out of a grudge. This is the issue. Giving attention to the pain coming out of resentment. See, otherwise, the offense in and of itself has no power over any human being. Isaiah 66 from verse 8. Isaiah 66 from 8. Who has ever seen anything as strange as this? Who ever heard of such a thing? Has a nation ever been born in a single day? Has a country ever come forth in a mere moment? But by the time Jerusalem's birth pain began, as children will be born. This is from the New Living Translation. Joseph said, Why and what do you be pain? Why and what do you be da? What do you be as I say, da? And I said, What do you be pre con? If we say, I walk as young, pe ara, and a warning. Verse 9. Yet was when you moon crown. Would I ever bring this nation to the point of birth and then not deliver it? Ask the Lord. No, I would never keep this nation from being born, says your God. Me, me ma wo bwe a wikano, na mere ma wo wo, e wade na osie. Ana, me ya, me ma wo wo no, me si a wo ano ana, wunyan kupon en osie. Verse 8 says that who has ever seen anything as strange as this? And you move on to the same way and what do you be paying? Has a nation ever be born in a single day? What is the answer? The answer is no. So what me chimwo as I say and no mind that crow. No. Debbie. 
So under normal circumstances, you don't just give birth. Now there's a gestation period. You could only deliver when you have brought something to a point of delivery. So a nation is not born in a day. You don't get pregnant today and give birth today. It says that that is strange. There is always that gestation period. James chapter 1 from verse 13. James 1 from 13. When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. Now say was so obisha mano and can say on yanko pon and also miche if we say boni be in so on yanko pon she na on no un so un so ubiaran she. So let's pay attention to verse fourteen, yeah. And 15. If you do nine echo dunum. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Na was so ubiara sha. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin, and sin when it is full grown gives birth to death. So you see that when you are offended, it doesn't mean that the day someone offended you, you are going to kill. You need to give it some space. It is the nursing that brings the death and the evil. So we say, na chese se ubi fumwa enye sadano ena edi beko ko uye boni bi ne we say u kwato so aye mu e juma na ano no ena edi boni no ba. See the seed of resentment in the heart. It is in the inner man will not just be revealed unless you nurse it under certain conditions. Hey, I want you to know. I want you to come and move a hinta. Now, any any people who know, any a woman who knows, any no no no, any 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 when scripture says, consider carefully what you hear, it is also a caution against the source of your information. So we have said that be careful what you hear means giving attention to what you have heard. But I'm also saying that it also means that be careful of the source of your information. Because in life, the voices that come to us come from all manner of sources. We all know that one people speak to us. Or way. I'm even speaking to you. And our own soul also speak to us. See, bitter souls never keep quiet even when they are sleeping. Bitter souls, they speak to us. When my boys were growing, you know boys, they, they will fight, they will do all that. Someone was fighting with the brother. And then I think that the other one really hit him hard. And then you wanted to go and hit him. And then I came and I said, No, stop. Stop. And then he started crying. So they crying. Then later on, he fell asleep. But later on, we heard him crying. He <laughs> we went to where he was living, and he was sleeping, but crying, and with a fist like this. <laughs> oh. I've heard so much. I thought that maybe that was going to happen. 
Let's wake him up. Let him go and hit the brother. And then come back and sleep. So that is self. When you are even sleeping, self will still be talking. Satan also speaks to you. Be careful what you hear. Then of course God speaks to us. Let me add because of Balaam that donkeys can speak to you. Balaam inti ma men fan ka ho se mfrum pon kon su to make asa. Right you real but <laughs> sometimes if you don't want to listen <laughs> Uh, God can cause donkeys to speak. We en wan wan ye pa intensi na so to de bia ubu nuegu asu mu a onyame to mema emfrum ponko kasa chere wo. But in our daily life we speak to one another, we hear voices from our own souls and then Satan speaks to us and then God also speaks. So be careful the kind of voice and where is coming from. See, the source is as important as the substance of what you hear. Yeah. As chapter 16 from verse 16. As 16 from 16. Once when we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by a female slave who had a spirit by which she predicted the future. She earned a great deal of money for her owners by fortune telling. Now, I was saying, you are sorry, no, I buy you a beer or what a come home this year. And so now, or the uncomfortable and manure, yeah, a dear baby. She followed Paul and the rest of us shouting. These men are servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way to be saved. She kept this up for many days. Finally, Paul became so annoying that he turned around and said to the Spirit, In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. At that moment, the spirit left her. Na oye ye and na bebre no. A ye Paulo ahomiti. Na o dani no hu catchre hu hom no se. Me show yesu Christo di mu se free a di free ni mu. Na don no ara hu hom no e free a di. But let's go back to verse seventeen. Na mumi yonko imu dun so no. She followed Paul and the rest of us shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way to be saved. But was it wrong? Were they not telling the people the way to be saved? Now, the prediction was right, but the source was evil. See, that prediction was right. But the source was demonic. Now, be careful what you hear. That is why the Apostle Paul admonished us through the church in Thessalonica. That we should test our spirits and reject every kind of evil. So be careful what you hear because what we hear may come from a demonic source. You see, in Matthew chapter 16, we, we see something very interesting happening. Now, Peter, on one breath, was singled out for praise by Jesus for allowing the Spirit of God to reveal such a mystery to him. On another breath, he was rebuked by Jesus for allowing Satan to influence him. Peter, Petro. Matthew 16 from verse 16. Simon Peter answered, 
You are Messiah, the Son of the Living God. Simon Petro, boy, say, when the Christo no, we nyango ponti asefo no ba. Jesus replied, "Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for this was not revealed to you by flesh and blood, but by my Father in heaven." And I Jesus boy say no say, "Israel no, yo na ba Simon. If he say, 'Enya honam ni moja ne yi etre wo na meja owo soro no." So let's quickly move to verse twenty-one. Yen tuwa so oni mu edio nu ba konoi. Now from that time on, Jesus began to explain to his disciples that. He must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed, and on the third day he be raised to life. Now, if we saw Breno, now Jesus Christ of Fiti as here, children, the Syrian phone is a SSA or Ku Jerusalem. Now, Okunhuna Mania P in Penny Four, ne a soft one Penny Four, ne a Trefono and Sam, now we're coming on, now there Tosomi and Sano, we nyane. Now verse 22. Yeah, verse 22 is very interesting. Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. Never, Lord. He said, This shall never happen to you. And a petrol didn't quench. No, if it is a chin and him say, Emparo, ye remouse or da. 23. Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. You do not have in mind the concern of God, but merely human concerns. Now, what Daniel and what Saint Peter say? Free me so, Satan. We are sentient, dear mommy. If we say we mean we are not going to do it, then we are not going to do it. And our journey. Now, Jesus said to Peter, "Yes, we catch the Peter. Say, get behind me, Satan. Free me so, Satan." Now Jesus said to Peter, "Yes, you catch the Peter. Say, get behind me, Satan. Free me, so Satan." So he looked at Peter's face and called him Satan. And didn't worship Peter him and offer him Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. Oh yes, indeed, yeah, mommy. You do not have in mind the concern of God. If it's a woman, we nyango pondi, but merely human concern. Then we nipa di and our journey. So. That which entered his mind was from a demonic source. It wasn't in the will of God. It was from Satan. Oh, Peter. Petro Mwei could receive from Satan and carry it to Jesus as an advice. Serious case. Now, if Peter can falter like this, Petru, it me fum say ya. Then all of us should be careful what we hear. And ye yin yin as a see a shady ye tin ye. Be careful what you hear. See a shady ye pa pa pa. What may be influencing your thoughts and action could come from any source. Ye ma wo jene ana nena mu mu a ma wo ye dia wo ye ne betu mi a free mi a bebreo. But you know the kind of source by the fruits. Your actions will produce. Now, who person who who knows the free are wash a bar? Now, who are not a beso? Matthew twelve says this. For me, I share Matthew as empano eti do me you know. Make a tree good, and its fruit will be good. Or make a tree bad, and its fruit will be bad. For a tree is recognized by its fruits. Chao se mne se ma diano enye diapa na abano ebe ye abapa. Diano enye dia boni na abano so ebe ye ababoni. Diano abba eni wadi hunu na abano. Verse 34. Ye tuwa so yimu edu yonu na edu yonai. You brood of vipers. How can you who are evil say anything good? Now if you are evil, you are evil. You can't say anything good. At best you may be a hypocrite. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Edu yasana yonai yonai se inguruti amba. Muya boni fui mobe ya deng etumi akansi mpa na di aya akumemu mano ena ano eka. Now, in the context of our study, what could make us nest grudge could be one of two sources. Oshin ye ye suye mwa ni ebema ya tumi enya fufro hu mna sepano ebe tumi efri noma mienua idi di sui. Either demonic. Ebe tumi efri bonsam au mone or Self. So we have said that people can speak to you, Satan can speak to you, self can speak to you, 
God can speak to you. But I'm saying that in the context of this bitterness, we are saying that two sources can really influence you badly. Demonic source and sir so now we so now we are dealing with nursing the ground someone can say something to you and you be offended so we have moved away from the offense and we, we are talking about nursing grudges and i'm saying that when we are talking about nursing grudges the source that can really damage you is demonic or sir James chapter 3 from verse 13. Mama yenche Yakobo Romano etimi ensa yimu dumi ensa no. James 3:13. Who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life, by this done in humility that comes from wisdom. Mumu huai ena oye nyansa fu ni nimdi fu manomfa obrapa enchere ni nyuma wo ojoa nyansa ewo mumu. But if you have a bitter envy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Verse 14. So we are talking about harboring bitter envy and selfish ambition. These things are like bitterness in the heart. Then he says that that kind of spirit has a source and you say that such wisdom do not come down from heaven but is earthly unspiritual demonic but where you have envy, selfish ambition, there you find disorder and evil practice. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure. Then peace loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. So the voice or the wisdom that comes from heaven and its fruit is what has been explained in verse 17. So let's go back to 15. Such wisdom does not come down from heaven, but it is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. Now, if I put the unspiritual and earthly together, then that one I can say that it is self. It is just coming from the sense. It is earthly, self, and then demonic. The source of the voice you hear can escalate the bitterness in you. This is well illustrated from the story of Cain and his brother Abel. So we'll put a comma here. Next week we will open up this story. Now, to prove the fact that if you give your ear to the enemy, you will mesmerize your life because you will take advantage of the space like he took advantage and destroyed Cain. I pray that you will never give room to the enemy. Never give room to the enemy. Never do. So, this evening what we heard 
And what we want to push home is the fact that when the Bible says be careful of what you hear, it's also saying that be careful of the source. Sometimes our friends, I don't know, our friends, some people, some people, when they come to you, they will be like Peter Satan. Peter Satan. It's as if they are giving you good advice. You'll be hearing some, some, some voices. But the source is satanic. Then sometimes your own soul can also be disturbing. <laughs> anyway, I explain these things next week. And Satan can also speak to you. Because the Spirit of God through our conscience will also minister to us. May the Lord be with us. So that in managing bitterness, we pay attention to the source of what we hear. To God be with you.